Okay, everybody. Hello, this is Tom Simon, and you're watching The Big Topic. <laughs> I'm having fun, actually. This is the X Factor, The Big Topic. This is uh, the third show of auditions for uh, Season 2 of The X Factor USA, or 2012. And tonight was a good show. It was a two-hour show, so it was quite long. Um, basically... You know, five dollar, five million dollar prize is at stake. Uh, Simon is sick on the first part of this show. Uh, basically, Louis from the X Factor UK is where I know him from, and he's going to be the uh, the you know the substitute judge for Simon tonight, and he's filling in and cool. This is exciting. So Kansas City, Kansas City, Missouri, is up first, and let's just get to the auditions. We'll talk about them a little bit. And I hope somebody out there likes my show because uh, I do it just for the fun of it. Rizlo Jones is first up. Uh, he does a freestyle rap. And you know how they're putting people on blast this season that are, you know, kind of intimidating other people. Well, a girl was trying to intimidate him a little bit and, you know, saying, you know, eh, he, he he's nothing to worry about, right? Well, he gets on stage, he's going to do a freestyle, Mr. Rizlo Jones. Freestyle rap, and he's this scrawny little white guy. Um, basically, he got the crowd to stand up, though. He was entertaining. Uh, L.A. Reid said that it was really good. And, uh, you know, I'm surprised that he got four yeses. I thought he was, he was okay. He could sing, he could rap, he did a freestyle. Um, but he got four yeses, so everybody liked him. And it was good. So, uh, you know, the girl that was messing with him, we'll get to her in a minute. But Rizlo Jones, congratulations, you made it through with your freestyle rap. So I hope you can handle the boot camp and all that good stuff that's coming up. And uh, good luck. He wasn't my favorite, but he wasn't bad at all. And, you know, he deserves another chance. I'd like to see what he does with another chance in the boot camp. Next, we got CC. CC. Uh, she first does... Unchained Melody, uh, The Righteous Brothers, she had leopard print on the face. By the way, this is the girl that they're putting on blast today, who was messing with Rizlo Jones a little bit. And uh, she bombed this song. It was horrible. But wait, wait one minute, because she comes back and they let her sing again. And she does uh, Christina Aguilera and Ain't No Other Man. And she just blew it out of the water. All of a sudden... You know, she you, you know she, she screwed up the first song. It was horrible. But you got to put up or shut up, and she puts up. So, really, she wasn't put on blast. Uh, she saved herself. She had that determination to do another song, even though the first one was horrible. And, wow, you know, she shocked the judges, shocked me. Uh, she put up or shut up, and she put it up right on the table for us. She had the attitude style, uh, you know. It's Demi says she has a girl crush, and, uh, you know, good luck to you. I'm, I'm glad you didn't get, uh, you know, basically destroyed out there. You, you made it. You did it. You showed what it takes to actually be an X-Factor. Sometimes you get knocked down, and you just got to go again and get back right back up. So, congratulations, CC. You did it. Next, uh, we had Vino, uh, the Britney. Oh, Britney sings Happy Birthday to L.A. Reid and gives him a birthday cake. Sounded really good. Uh, next, we had uh, Vino Alon, and he was nervous as hell. This guy had tattoos all over his face, neck, and shoulders. He had uh, fire flames on his top of his forehead, all or on the top of his head, co all covered in tattoos on his head, neck, and and his uh, arms. And uh, basically, he was nervous, and he plays shows for the military, so that's something he actually does. Uh, it was an incredible voice. I was surprised when he started to sing. I was really, really surprised. He's doing this for his family, and this is what The X Factor was all about. So if you get a chance, check out his, uh, his audition. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, he got four yeses, and he was incredible, in my opinion. I enjoyed his deep, uh, beautiful voice, and it was it was good. It was good. Watch it. You won't you won't um, you won't be expecting what you actually see when he starts to sing. He sang he sang Trouble, and it was just incredible. Loved it. Loved every minute of it. Next, 
We go to the fourth audition. He does Chris Brown uh, without you, and it's uh, D'Angelo is his name. And uh, basically, he's a weirdo. He was acting weird, trying to you know he's trying to show off in front. Of, he just didn't work, you know. It didn't work. His whole attitude didn't work at all for me or anybody else. This is almost a waste of time talking about him. Uh, the only thing that was interesting, he, he started talking crap about Justin Bieber, uh, about the judges. He was talking smack and criticizing the judges. Um, then he basically, so, so basically he, it was a joke, but the joke was on him because nobody wanted to hear it. The judges got up and walked out of the building. They left. They didn't even give him yes or no's. They were mad that he wasn't taking it serious, and he wasn't. This was just a big joke to him to get on TV. And then he runs out with the microphone, steals the mic, the little mic, and the cops get him outside and charge him with a misdemeanor, and he'll be out in a couple hours. So that was a waste of time. Moving on. Next, we had Tate Stevens, and this guy had a deep, country, beautiful, amazing voice. He's a dad. He's doing it for his whole family. And his voice was just incredible. I mean, I swear I could hear this guy on the radio right now. He has one of the most purest country voices I've heard in a long time. He was incredible, incredible, incredible. And everybody loved it and said he's, he's going to be a country star. I agree. I want to hear the next song. This guy is awesome. And he's an older man, so that makes it, you know, cool. You know, that oh, you know it's not done just because you're an older man. You have a chance to succeed if you try. So, Tate Stevens. Awesome performance. Amazing. Four yeses, without a doubt. They didn't even hesitate. They all loved him. So next we go to San Francisco. Simon is back. And uh, did I miss him on that first part? No. Uh, then when the second part started, I realized, yes, I did. I like Simon a lot on the X Factor. Yeah, he can be mean sometimes. And uh, he was very mean when he came back. Um, there was the first group's... Uh, they were a group of five guys, and they were called Citizen. And basically, they did all right. Um, the song was Don't Let Go in Vogue. And uh, everybody else liked them. They said, good job. I kind of agreed with Simon. It was okay. I don't totally agree with Simon. Um, I didn't quite get it either. I thought their harmonies were all over the place. I didn't think they were really singing in sync together. And uh, Simon, but Simon was you know a little harsh, I guess, because they weren't bad. They weren't bad at all, but they got three yeses, so they're moving on, moving on. So basically, they're going to show how mean Simon can be. Uh, basically, he broke this girl's heart, Adriana uh, Lemus, that came up, and uh, she did Rumor Has It by Adele, and she bombed. It wasn't that good, but he was really hardcore on her. She got four no's. Next, we had uh, Diamond White, and uh, she does This Is A Man's World, this is a little superstar in the making, 13-year-old Diamond White. Uh, she lives, you know, in a little box apartment with her mom, sleeps in the same bed as her mom, and has a deadbeat dad, so the dad's not around. So, you know, this girl is a little star. She's a gorgeous little girl, and she can sing incredible. Her voice was rich, sounded way older than she actually is, and she can perform when she sings, so she puts it all in the right places. Um, great stage presence, and uh, she had one hell of a voice. It was so good. She worked the stage and basically got four yeses. She was absolutely incredible. Go check out Diamond and White's uh, audition if you get a chance. So much talent. Next, they go to Austin, Texas, and we get Allie Brooke on stage. Uh, her song choice is On My Knees by uh, Jackie Velasquez. Yeah. So... Good audition. Uh, she wouldn't stop singing at the end of it, so they stopped the music how they always do, and she just kept on going. Uh, that's a lot of confidence to keep on going without the music, so she basically did it a cappella. She had a good voice. Um, she wanted to finish the song. Simon finally said, stop, stop, and said, you're a future star. Um, basically, it wasn't one of my favorites. She had a good voice. I just thought I've, I've seen better, um, but she was really she was good. She deserves to go on. With that said, four yeses. Now we're going to get to the quickies. I call them the X Factor quickies, the big topic quickies. Um, Brandon Hansen, uh, or Hassan, sorry, Brandon ha Hassan, and he does Trouble as well. And uh, it was a partial, and it was, sounded amazing. 
he got four yeses. I only got to hear a couple notes of it, though. But he had a really good voice. Next was, uh, what is it? Norman I, Norman e. Hamilton, I believe. And she got four yeses. Uh, Sister C is a group. All sisters. And, uh, or sisters. And it was a good country group. Definitely enjoyed their harmonies to, uh, of what I could hear. They only did a partial of it. She got four yeses as well. Next, uh, Jeremiah and Josh, a duo. Uh, great voices. Commercial. Uh, Brittany says magical. And they got four yeses. I enjoyed what I heard of them as well. Next. We, the drama that is the X Factor, let's say, Panda Ross comes out on stage. Simon said, or she says Simon is her baby's daddy, going to be her baby's daddy. And uh, she basically did bring it, bring it on home. Sam Cook uh, just got out of the hospital yesterday from seven days, you know, pneumonia. And basically she had, let me just tell you, when she started singing, she had that big mama soul. Big Mama Soul. She was so good. I loved her. I loved every minute of Panda's music. It, her voice was super deep, super soulful, and you know it was like gospel sounding. It was just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. She entertained me. She had wit. She had personality. Um, Simon said, "You sound like a legend." Four yeses. Then after that, this is the drama that is the X Factor. She gets sick. She needs oxygen. She gets taken to the hospital. So we all wish she's okay. Hope she gets better before she has to perform in the boot camp. Uh, next, we had Jessica Espinosa last. Uh, did they say for the best yeah, Best for the last? I kind of like the country dude better, but she was really good too. Uh, Jessica Espinosa, uh, she, she had the best audition of the night, mostly because I didn't expect it. I didn't expect this beautiful, deep, gorgeous voice she did pink nobody knows to come out of her her it was amazing she had a fire engine red and black mixed hair and you know just to you know she said she says she has a hard life and all that stuff well the hard life might be over you're a huge talent everybody loved her uh audition and basically i wanted to be there so i could hear this song in person i would have loved to have been there she was wonderful wonderful voice incredible tone Incredible fluctuations in her voice. I loved it. And basically, I was shaking my head yes to this girl the whole audition. And everybody gave her a yes. She got four yeses. She bared her soul to the world. Congratulations. You got you really, really rocked. So basically, that was it uh, on the uh, X Factor tonight. Then you've been watching the big topic, the X Factor. This was show three of the auditions. You guys have a good night.